On our previous video, we defined plant diseases as any disturbance that prevents the normal development of plants. These disturbances are caused by either an abiotic or biotic agents. Abiotic agents are environmental factors such as air pollutants, temperature, solar radiation, etc. That results in the changes in form and function of the plant. On the other hand, Biotic agents are microorganisms or parasitic plants. Abiotic causes of plant diseases are non-living agents. The disease is usually caused by the lack or excess of something that supports the normal functioning of the plants and is not infectious. For the next slides, we will be talking about the different abiotic agents that cause plant diseases. Temperature Exposure to low temperature slightly above freezing results to chilling injury. Symptoms include wilting, surface fitting, discoloration, decay, internal breakdown, failure to ripen, growth inhibition, and loss of flavor. Freezing injury, on the other hand, results from exposure to temperatures below 0 degrees Celsius. Ice crystals formed within and in between cells due to freezing temperature. Also, water soap and wilted appearance will be observed on plants after thawing. Winter burn is a disease characterized by having a dead foliage and needles of evergreen that appear to have been sinked in a fire. The damage is from dehydrated plant tissues that occurs during winter when temperatures are frigid and the ground is frozen. Sun scald results from prolonged exposure to high temperature and bright sunlight. Symptoms include light-colored, blistered, or sometimes water soak. Very young leaves often wilt and die. Internal heat necrosis or internal browning occurs in potatoes grown in light soil where it is hot and dry. It is characterized by a yellow to brown discoloration in vascular system of affected tuber. Amount of sunlight. Too little sunlight causes etulation in plants. Etulated plants are tall with yellow leaves, while too much sunlight leads to scorching and sun scalding along with high temperature. Black heart disease of potato is a physiological disorder caused by lack of oxygen, leading to dark, necrotic cavities. This is common in waterlogged soils and poorly aerated storage areas, especially during periods of high temperature. Mainly gases and particulates. Produced from factories, automobile exhausts, from man-related activities, and others produced in nature ozone from lightning, and ashes from volcanic eruption. Ozone from automobile exhausts and other internal combustion engines from stratosphere or from lightning. It is the most destructive air pollutant to plants. It causes stippling and tiny flecks, bronzing, and chlorosis. Peroxyacetyl nitrates, plasmolyzed spongy mesopyl cells, and lower epidermal cells resulting to dehydration and filling up of empty space with air. Symptoms include bronzing, silvering, and glazing in lower lip surfaces. Nitrogen oxides causes bleaching and bronzing of plants plus brown or white lesions along leaf margins. Hydrogen fluoride causes the browning of leaf margins. Sulfur dioxide causes chlorosis, bleaching of intervenal tissues of leaves. Ethylene causes premature senescence, etulation, stunting, flower drop, sepal necrosis, leaf malformation if present in high concentration. Particulates such as lime, dust ash, soot, and cement from burning fields or trash, cement factories, lime kiln operations, combustion of fuel oil and coal, and volcanic eruption cause necrotic lesions in covered areas.
minerals. Diseases from lack of minerals necessary for different physiological process such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium causes chlorosis, purpling, rot, etc. Excessive levels of certain elements also affect solubility and availability of other elements. Adverse meteorological conditions such as strong wind, heavy rains, lightning results to rip, torn, water-soaked leaves, burnt trees, stunted plants, improper agricultural practices such as unfavorable soil pH, improper use of pesticides, and lack of or excess moisture. Biotic agents are mostly living agents. The diseases they produce are infectious. These agents are mostly microorganisms such as bacteria, fungi, fungal-like oomycetes, virus, phytoplasma, protozoa, nematodes, viroid, and the parasitic plants or panerograms. We will discuss in the following slides the different characteristics of these organisms. Fungi are eukaryotic organisms because they possess true nuclei and typical cellular organelles. It is either unicellular or multicellular. It has cell walls made up of chitin and glucan, and have vegetative structures that are composed of branch filamentous threads called hypa. Mass of hypae called mycelium or mycelia. Mycelium may have cross walls or septa, septated, or no cross walls, coenocytic. Most fungi are spore-bearing, but some do not produce spores. Instead, they produce sclerotial bodies, which are hardened mass of mycelia. Fungal-like oomycetes are spore-bearing organisms. Their sporangiopores are enclosed in sporangium, attached on a sporangiopore. Their mycelium are coenocytic. They produce cell spores sexually. Lastly, their cell wall made up of cellulose and glucan. Bacteria. Plant infecting bacteria are either rod or filamentous shape, may or may not be flagellated. They are produced by binary fission. They usually do not penetrate the host directly, instead, they enter through natural plant openings such as nectaries, hydatoids, and stomates. Their cytoplasm is bounded by cell membrane and cell wall, peptidoglycan. Phytoplasma or molecule. Disease caused by these organisms are commonly known as plant yellows because the common damage symptom is the chlorosis of foliage. DNA not bound with nuclear membrane. They lack cell wall resulting to a pleomorphic form or variable in shape. They reproduce by budding and binary fission, and it is usually transmitted by leaf hoppers, psyllids, plant hoppers. Nematodes. Nematodes are thread-like, elongated, and unsegmented organisms, usually 0.5 to 2.0 mm in length. They have stylet or a hollow, needle-like spear. Virus. It is composed of nucleic acid, either RNA or DNA, encapsulated by protein coat. It comes in different shapes with sizes ranging from 10 to 2,000 nanometer. It is an obligate intracellular parasite, therefore it replicates only in a suitable host cell using host protein synthesizing machinery. Viroids are free-living RNA, lacks protein coat, usually 246 to 375 base pairs in our obligate intracellular parasite. Flagellate protozoa are one-celled eukaryotic microscopic organisms that moves by flagella. Panerogams or parasitic flowering plants can be hemiparasite or true parasite. Hemiparasite have true leaves but no true roots can photosynthesize but depends wholly on the host plant for water and minerals. While true parasite possess no or little chlorophyll, have no true roots and depends entirely on their hosts for food, water, and mineral.